You're watching WMDU TV. Live from Michigan, this is News Center 16. You cannot see it in the skies over Elkhart, but the airwaves are changing. The proof is in the video box we call television. And the TV business will never be the same in Michiana. Good evening. We are coming to you live from Concord Mall in Elkhart. It's a history-making day for television in Michiana, and we're here to help explain this switch and show what it means to you. In short, there's a new ABC affiliate and new Fox affiliate, and that's Channel 28, WSJV, that no longer carries ABC programs. We know many of you are confused and concerned about how the switch is going to affect local stations and your favorite programs. There are a couple of ways New Center 16 is going to help you understand the new TV market. First, Terry McFadden sorts out the changes. First, WNDU is still NBC, and that means all your favorite NBC programs will be right where they've always been, including New Center 16. We've been here for you for over 40 years, and we're not going anywhere. Another station that will remain the same is WSBT Channel 22. That's where you get your CBS programming, so they're not changing as well. Which brings us to where the changes begin. If you're a fan of ABC shows, you used to watch them on WSJV Channel 28. Well, this morning, that station became Fox 28 and is now the first local Fox affiliate to broadcast here in the South Bend area. And since you're asking, how am I going to watch my ABC shows? Well, many of you are going to watch WBND, the new ABC WBND broadcasts on channels 58 and 69 here in Michiana. Thanks, Terry. Now that we've got that straightened out, we've got some moral support here as we get into this thing. And as the new kid in town, just about all of us will be asking the same question. Who is Channel 58 and 69 WBND? And maybe a better question, when will their signal get better? Well, Tom Rinaldi joins us now, and he has some answers for that. Tom? Well, guys, it's something that we're all going to have to figure out. But I can tell you that despite some mild temperatures today, some people were seeing some snow on their television screens and that's because on WBND's first day of reception there were some people who were not receiving it as clearly as they had hoped for. Nonetheless, WBND owners are confident that their reception will get better. Now, while some cable officials said that there was a problem with a transmitter, WBND officials said that really wasn't the case, and we won't be able to see WBND's best picture for about six weeks when they get up to full power, sort of full speed, six weeks from now in December. So we'll just sort of have to wait and see how clearly things turn out for BND. Okay. There is some frustration today. Huh? There is, certainly, with people fishing around. Yeah, all right. Okay, thanks, Tom. Tom. Thanks. Well, now that you know who WBND is, how do you make sure to get it on your television? There are two different answers. If you currently subscribe to a cable service, check with your company to find out where the WBND signal is being carried. For example, if you live in Indiana and are using TCI cable, you should find WBND program on channel 4. Now, if you don't have cable or your company doesn't carry WBND, you can still get the station on most TV sets. Officials from WBND believe their signal will improve significantly, as Tom said, in December, and reception will improve in homes that do not have cable. And while we hope to be providing some answers to the switch, we know you still have lots of questions. Lots of questions, and that's why we set up the switch hotline in our studios today. There you see them waiting for those phones to ring. They've been ringing very steadily all day. The phones have been busy, and you can find out where some of the programs you like to watch will now be seen. And if you have a question, give our switch hotline a call. That number is 634-WNDU. They're there to answer your questions as soon as